Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Peacock King, a Hong Kong fantasy action horror movie from 1988 that was directed by Nagai Choi Lam, the man who directed The Seventh Curse, Ghost Snatchers, The Cat, and Ricky O, the story of Ricky. So you know things are going to get crazier. A Tibetan monk played by Yun Byu and a Japanese man played by Hiroshi Mikami journey to find Hell's daughter and the key to averting the forebodingly approaching Hell King. At the very beginning, an evil witch appears in front of some explorers and promises that the Hell King will break out and that darkness will return. Then, super cute Gloria Yip shows up and shoots giant fireballs that destroy their entire base. We soon realize that the witch is controlling or influencing Gloria's character, and the witch tells her that man has destroyed nature. The devil holes that dominate the darkness and lead to hell will open one after another. Yeah, gets pretty crazy, folks. Now, most viewers of this channel are probably fans of Yun Byu. He's been in a ton of martial arts films and other stuff over the years. Um, ton of stuff, so you know who he is. And some of you may recognize Hiroshi Mikami. Now, the name isn't a big name. He's done a lot of TV work in Japan, but he did star in the Japanese horror film Premonition from 2004, so you may recognize him from that one. And Gloria Yip has appeared in a few of Nagai Choi Lam's other films, such as Ricky O oh and The Cat. So we got a fun little cast here. Now, our protagonists basically go from place to place and fight various monsters and warriors. That's basically your film, really. The opening scene, again, pretty fantastic fireball explosion effect. Uh, pretty cool stuff to start things off. We have a dinosaur exhibit scene, which is another neat moment. Kind of, re It reminded me of the Parasite Eve video game, if, uh, if you're uh, familiar with that. There's a fight against a nasty-looking monster, which is very effective. And one of the best moments later in the film is a one versus many martial arts battle involving Yun Byu and Gordon Liu, of all people. <laughs> and it occurs in the second half of this movie. This movie is watching for that scene alone. It's a, it's a pretty awesome fight scene. I Definitely worth the price of admission. Uh, I think the action and the fantasy elements are definitely entertaining in this. And that's what you watch films like this for. Fun fact is that Keita... Amemia worked on the special effects. Now, if you've ever seen the film Zero, 1 and 2 from the early 90s, or the Garo television series, both of which he directed, you'll be familiar to kind of uh, the neat special effects that he likes to use. So he did the special effects in Peacock King, and he uses a blend of stop-motion animation in this, which... I think it's really fun to watch. I know some people are put off by stop motion, but it, it kind of has a dated style to it, right? But I tend to like it just because it's something different, really. I mean, it's not CGI, and it's not traditional practical effects, so it, it kind of adds something else. You know, it adds a different a different feel to the monsters and the way they move and stuff, and I, I'm a fan of it, you know. Uh, you know, it's very Harryhausen-esque, right? So, but there are also some pretty legitimate uh, effects that hold up today in Peacock King. There's like a body horror scene that's showcased like during the midsection to the latter half. And that's, that's a pretty cool scene. Actually a little bit scary and uh, creepy. Also, the Hell King is a pretty cool design as well when he shows up. So, if you're a fan of Amamiya's stuff, that's another reason to check this movie out. But remember the actual director of the film here, Nagai Choi Lam, you're going to get some crazy stuff, as I said. Even during the opening 20 minutes, you're just going to be, uh, you're going to be in, in bliss. You get a, that fireball attack, you get a tiny lecher ghost, as they call it, uh, the monster exhibit scene, and a giant monster hand that emerges from a locker <laughs> to attack. So that's the opening 20 minutes, and that's how this movie begins. So yes, it's very entertaining stuff. You get a lot of spell casting, uh, defending against monsters using magic, and there are some moments of impressive acrobatics and stunt work as well, like a Ferris wheel scene that we see. L a little bit of everything in this, including that martial arts scene that I mentioned. So that's kind of nice. There's a bit of variety 
in this, which is cool. But again, I would not go in to this film expecting it to be quite as insane as something like Ricky O, the story of Ricky. I don't think it quite reaches that level of insanity. But it's uh, it's something where I think this director is almost almost all of his films are worth watching because they're they're kind of unique. They have a certain style to them that's kind of uh, visionary for him specifically. And uh, yeah, this is another one. It's totally worth watching. Runtime, less than 90 minutes, easy to sit through, very entertaining. This recently got a Region A Blu-ray release from Hong Kong, I believe. Totally worth the purchase. And uh, I think DDD House has it, possibly Yes Asia, and maybe even eBay. So pick this one up. I think it's worth watching. And I will be reviewing a related film uh, coming up in the next week or two. And as always, we will see you next time.